Hey YouTube, 3D Printed Life here. Today I just wanted to go over quickly how exactly my extruder works on the inside and how you put it together. Um, sorry, I gotta use flash because it's kind of dark out. Um, so here we have the two pieces that hold the bearing, that's basically the lever. The bearing goes on here, and then this goes on top. And then on the other side, there's a hole for one M3 by 10 millimeter bolt, which screws through and screws the two pieces together. Now in here, you're going to start with this piece, with this channel on the left hand side. You're going to grab your spring and you're going to put the little tensioner slider piece on here. It's just like a little plastic nub cap, and that lays in this channel. You can grab this piece which goes, um, the head of the screw will be facing down and it'll go in here um, look at that. this this will be one piece when you do it <laughs> not two it will go like that and then this spring goes in, see there's a little groove in there in this piece a little cutout for the spring so it kinda nests in there like that and then you get an M3 by 20 millimeter bolt with a hex nut. The hex nut goes in a little spot in the plastic, like that. Focus on that, there we go. Um, and then the head of the screw will go into the plastic piece, that, that slider piece, just a little bit. And this is how you adjust the tension. When you tighten this, it pushes down the spring, which in turn puts more pressure on this guy. Uh, now when you're assembling this, you have your three long bolts will come in from the back side. Uh, one will go through this, one will go here. This is where the hot end goes, there's a small little groove to help you. And one will go through this bottom corner. Then you're going to put this top piece on, like so. It should go on there just to say... Yeah, good enough. Alright, um, and this is... I'm pretty much done now. You just need one M3 by 10 millimeter bolt to go there. That will just hold down this left side so that it's nice and tight. And then one M3 by 20 to go through here, which will hold the other end of the hot end. So then at that point, you have your fully assembled extruder. Again, hot end will come down here, and the stepper will obviously go behind it. And then you're going to want to get two of these pieces from the original extruder and just use them as spacers in between the... Um, extruder body and the stepper motor um, because the stepper as you may know has that little bump out um, plus you can't exactly get that pulley down low enough in order to have it work when it's flush so this just adds a bit of space these can also be printed there uh, I believe five millimeters thick it doesn't have to be exact um, it's just something to space the motor so that's it I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this helpful for assembling your extruder I know it's uh, somewhat complicated design, but in order to have the adjustable tension, it had to be made this way. I don't know um, many other ways where you can make it adjustable tension and keep it simple and have a lever. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.